Hello, I'm Daniel Shin and welcome to Discussion with the Dean on Christianity and Law. So today we discussed um, Jesus' approach to arguing with the Pharisees on the law and there seems to be a criticism about the fact that the Pharisees are focusing very much on the technicalities of the law. So could you uh, summarize what Jesus is arguing through uh, today's passage? So we were looking today at uh, Matthew 23, beginning in verse 16. And uh, this is a challenging passage for lawyers uh, because there are legal technicalities being argued about. And uh, Jesus ends the section with his, his famous uh, point that the, the, the teachers of the law have missed the weightier matters of the law. They've been focused on these technical issues of what should you tithe, how do you make vows, and they've, they've missed the most important matters of, of law. So this is, this is really uh, a challenging passage for, for us. Um, but Jesus sort of does the opposite of what we might think. He, he doesn't say you should ignore the technicalities. In, in fact, um, with, with questions about how you make a proper vow, um, very challenging technical questions, he takes a position on it. He says a vow taken contrary to what you say on the altar is binding. He says you're right uh, to tithe mint and cumin and bill. Uh, he doesn't avoid technical questions. He, he takes a position on them. What he, what he says is what you've gotten wrong you, you reach the wrong conclusion with respect to vows, but you reach the right conclusion with respect to tithing. You're wrong in all cases because your approach to it has lost sight of what the law is supposed to be teaching, which is justice and mercy and faithfulness. And so you've, you've misinterpreted these things. So um, when I listen to that, in today's world, of course, attorneys are very prized for their ability to navigate within the technicalities that exist within the law. So how do we as Christian attorneys not lose focus as Jesus um, wants us to when we are navigating different technical issues within the law so that it's not, uh, it's, it, we're following in the steps um, uh, following Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is the, the whole reason we studied Jesus arguing law is so we can observe the ways that he, he keeps his eyes on God even in passages like the ones today where he's not explicitly talking about God. He, he, he doesn't mention God in, until the very end of this passage today, but he goes through all of these arguments where he's clearly keeping his, his eyes on the Father, which I, I hope I explained well today. Um, but he is in the minutia of the law. And what, what we have to do as, as Christian lawyers is following Christ's example, learn how to connect the, the source of law and the end of law in God. The, the middle, the technicalities, where you're, where you're working out the, the, the principles, Jesus says, it's not bad to do those things, it's good to do them. What's bad is when you lose sight of where the holiness of the law comes from and where the holiness of the law is tending to. And I, I hope that's what, what came out in the discussion of these passages today, is how is it that Jesus, even in discussing technicalities, manages to keep his eyes firmly on the source of the holiness of things, the source of the righteousness of things, the source of mercy in things, through constant faithfulness to God. That's how we want to argue, and that's what I, I think Jesus is teaching us today. Well, thank you. If you're interested in the full, um, uh, full lecture presented by Dean Enloe, please follow our YouTube channel and uh, click on the link to the full lecture.